If you look at, at, at Newt Romney, they were for Obamacare principles. If you look at Newt Romney, they were for cap and trade. If you look at Newt Romney, they were for the illegal immigration problem. And if you look at Newt Romney, they were for the $700 billion bailout. You just heard Newt Romney is also with Obama on the issue of the oh. payroll extension. So Let's if see. you want a difference, Michelle Bachman is the proven conservative. It's not Newt Romney. You threw, you threw a lot out there. So let's get both both gentlemen a chance to respond. Speaker Gingrich, you go first because you're invoked twice, and also on the on the uh, lobbying, and then points. Governor Romney. Right, go ahead. Well, Michelle, you know a lot of what you say just isn't true. Period. I have never I have I opposed cap and trade. I testified against it the same day that Al Gore testified for it. I helped defeat it in the Senate through American Solutions. It is simply untrue. I fought against Obamacare at every step of the way. I did it. The Center for Health Transformation was actively opposed. We actively campaigned against it. You know, I think it's important for you, and this, this is a fair game, and everybody gets to, 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 to pick fights. It's important that you be accurate when you say these things. Those are not true. And most of the money I made, frankly, I made in ways that are totally and had nothing to do with anything you've described. I did no lobbying, no representation. And frankly, my, my, speech, my, my speech money and other things I did that had nothing to do with that was a lot larger source of income. So, you know, I have had 24 books and I've had 13 New York Times bestsellers. Now, that was not people who wanted influence running around buying my books. I know that doesn't fit your model. It happens to be true. Can I respond? 30 seconds, then Governor Romney. But you'd have to go back to 1993 when Newt first advocated for the individual mandate in health care. And as recently as May of this year, he was still advocating for the individual mandate in health care. And Governor Romney sent his team to the White House to meet with President Obama to teach them how to spread the Romney care model across the nation. That's why I say, Newt Romney, you've got to have our nominee as someone who has a stark, distinct difference with with President Obama who can go toe-to-toe -to -toe and hold him accountable. President Obama knows me in Washington, D.C. I've taken him on on issue after issue. Our nominee has to be willing to not agree with Barack Obama that, on these issues, but stand 180 degrees opposite of all the candidates on this stage. I've been fighting President Obama for every year Governor. that I've been there, and I've taken him on, and I will take him on in the debate and defeat him. Governor Romney. I know Newt Gingrich, and Newt Gingrich is a friend of mine, but he and I are not clones, I promise. Uh, so <laughs> that, is, that is not the case. So this Newt Gingrich thing, we got to get that out of our mind altogether. <laughs> Newt Romney thing, sorry. Um, <laughs> let states craft their own solutions. Don't have Obamacare put on yeah. us by the federal government. We gotta, George we and Diane, say, wait, George and Diane, can I just say something? This is such an important issue. We have one shot to get rid of Obamacare. That's it. It is 2012. Do we honestly believe that two men who have just stood on this stage and defended Romney Care when it was put in place in Massachusetts and the individual mandate when he proposed it in 1993, yeah. are they honestly going to get rid of it in 2012? Yes. This is yeah. going to be a very... <laughs> Senator. This is not a